Tensions are spiraling in Israel, and this time I'm not talking about Netanyahu's judicial reform, the one that led to mass protests. I'm referring to more traditional tensions, like the divide with Palestine. Jews are celebrating the festival of Passover, and this year it coincides with the month of Ramadan. And so, what should have been a time for celebration has turned into a violent slugfest. What's worse is that this is happening at a shrine considered sacred by both Muslims and Jews, the Al-Aqsa Mosque in Jerusalem, the holiest site in Judaism, the third holiest in Islam. It has become a site for violent confrontation again. Israeli police raided this complex this morning. Our next report tells you why. This is what the Al-Aqsa Mosque looked like this morning. The Israeli police entered the mosque before dawn on Wednesday. Police officers clashed with worshippers. Israel says the raid was in response to recent Palestinian rioting. An Israeli statement said the worshippers were armed with fireworks, stones and sticks. As police officials raided the mosque, fireworks were used against them. And. As is the case with all things Israeli and Palestinian, there are two versions to this story. Israel claims the worshippers were chanting violent slogans. They locked the doors of the mosque from inside and also set up fortifications and obstacles at the entrance. Israel has released footage of the aftermath of the raid. Its forces filmed the fireworks found inside the Al-Aqsa Mosque. If Israeli claims are true, the worshippers have some explaining to do. For starters, why were they hoarding fireworks, stones and sticks inside the mosque? Scenes outside were just as chaotic. There was tension in the air. The Al-Aqsa Mosque is an emotive issue for Palestinians. And every time Israel raids the site, it touches a raw nerve. This is when an Israeli bus rammed into a Palestinian car. Palestinians gathered in support of the mosque and the worshippers inside it. They chanted slogans while Israeli forces set up barriers on the road. Now, the Palestinians have a different version of what happened. They say Israeli forces raided the mosque without cause and attacked innocent worshippers, leaving several injured. A Palestinian lawyer claims that Israel has detained over 500 Palestinians. Worshippers who were in the mosque when the raid occurred described what they saw. In the yard to the eastern part of the compound, the police were firing tear gas and stun grenades. It was a scene that I can't describe. Then they stormed in and started beating everyone and they detained people and they put young men on their faces to the ground. They also beat them while in detention. Palestine was joined by Saudi Arabia, Jordan and Egypt, all of whom condemned Israel's actions. Saudi Arabia went a step further. It said Israel's storming of the Al-Aqsa Mosque has undermined peace efforts, a significant setback for Israel there, considering it wants to normalize relations with Riyadh. Some groups decided to take matters into their own hands. Palestinians in the West Bank reacted furiously. And Hamas, the militant organization that controls the Gaza Strip, launched rockets at Israel. Israel responded with ground-shaking airstrikes, which hit Hamas training camps and weapon depots. The Al-Aqsa Mosque has seen several violent clashes over the years. In 2021, clashes at the mosque triggered a 10-day war between Israel and Hamas. For the Palestinians, the mosque is a sign of resistance, their culture and nationhood. It's the third most sacred shrine in Islam, and Muslim worshippers aren't willing to share it. Al-Aqsa Mosque, despite all what is going on, is purely for Muslims and cannot be shared. Everything that is going on and happening by force 
will never be legitimate. Jews consider the complex one of their most sacred shrines. Ownership of the mosque remains a contentious issue, one that sparks frequent clashes. The past one year has been the deadliest in over two decades. Israeli forces have made thousands of arrests in the West Bank. Reports say at least 250 Palestinians have been killed. Meanwhile, attacks by Palestinians have killed more than 40 Israelis. The situation is volatile. They've gone to war over the Al-Aqsa Mosque before.